the chicken and by the way we eat the chicken legs also Hi guys, welcome back to my channel once again. My name is Harriet Anabo, your girl from Marua. And uh, if this is your first time on my channel, you are most welcome, but kindly consider subscribing. If you're my returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back and clicking into my videos. So we are still in the village and today we are trying to prepare food, as you can see me and my brother's wife, Scovia. We are going to be preparing chicken, Scovia, shouldn't So we are going to be preparing chicken, but in case you're wondering, why, what I'm holding, this is the chicken leg. Mm -hmm. So we eat the chicken leg and the head as well in my culture. So we're going to be showing you how we prepare each and everything here. So today we are having oh. cassava bread. Mm, cassava yeah. bread. Cassava bread is basically, we call it inasa in mm. my language. And uh, this is what you're going to eat with the, with the chicken. So as Kovia is cooking that, I'm going to be uh, cutting the onions and then I'll be frying the eggs as well. So watch the video up to the end, but don't forget to like. Like the video and kindly let me know where you're watching me from. <laughs> so right here, come on, children. These are the eggs. So I'll be cooking the eggs as well. So these are the eggs right here. And then this is uh, tungu. So Scovia is trying to mix the sauce right there. This is Scovia. Scovia, say hi. Hello. <laughs> so that's my brother's wife. She's called Scovia. And that's what we are going to have today for lunch. So this is the firewood right here. That's the firewood. And the fire is already blazing, as you can see. That is how our kitchen looks like. Those are like the ventilators. Eh? Mm. Yeah, so that the smoke doesn't like overstay in the hut. That's why they're there. Then the roof looks like that. Why you see that uh, the wood right there up eh, is dark, it's because of the smoke mm. that goes up. That's the reason. And basically, that's how our kitchen looks like. Right here. Right here. Yeah. So after, I'll be adding in the tomatoes that I've cut right now. So guys, the next thing, we are going to add in our tomatoes right here, like this. Let's go get this first. Like this. For the detail, for the cook. Did you add salt? Hmm? Can you matter even? Yeah. Is there a E? <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it some time. But you have to be very careful because the fire is blazing like so much. Mm. After cooking our sauce, the next thing is uh, cooking our cassava bread. And uh, is this cassava flour only, or it is mixed with millet flour? It is. This one is cassava flour only. So this is cassava flour only, right here. So if it was mixed with millet flour, it would have another color. Color. Yeah. So this is how we do it. So you do it like that. When you're mingling, you don't need a lot of fire. Yeah. Mm. So you do it like that. Like that. So she's adding what? Cassava flour or millet? Cassava. Cassava flour. Okay. So most of you guys call this uh, 
And also, if you guys don't know what cassava flour is, so sometimes you call it ugali. Yeah. So it's what we are cooking, but this is the brown ugali. It's what we eat. It's not the white one, it's the brown one. <laughs> Scovia yeah, here is a, yeah? it's very strong. You have to be very strong while mingling this big portion of, you know, mm. ugali. Yeah. <laughs> and you have to have a big stick. I think you can see there's a difference. This one is for sauce, mm. like for cooking your sauce, then this one has to be longer, mm -hmm. yeah. So you have to make sure that the, the ugali is properly cooked. Mm -hmm. So she's, it's what she's trying to do right here. So since we are many like in our family, that's why we have to cook like a lot of ugali. It has to be like a lot since we are many. But if we are few, I think I will take that part. But this big portion of this ugali, it's, it's not easy when it's a lot. Look at that. Wow. So you have to make sure hmm, when you're cooking like this white, the white stuff, the white cassava flour, mm -hmm. it does, it's not seen. Are you seeing? Mm -hmm. There's a difference. This one here is not supposed to be seen here. Mm -hmm. It has to be like this. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is how it's supposed to be. So you have to make sure you mingle, mingle up to when it disappears. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, uh, cassava flour is our staple food. It's part of our staple food here in my culture. We, we eat cassava flour, millet flour, and then we also have maize flour, but most of the time we take it as porridge. Mm. And then we, we also cook sorghum, by the way. Yeah, we also have sorghum. So it's part. So that's why on each and every dish of ours, this ugali will never miss. We love ugali so much, the brown ugali. A cassava flour, so it can never miss on our dishes. I put it here down. I carry all of it. All only this. That's all. You do it like this, eh? Yeah? Mm. <laughs> Guys, look at that. Yeah? Now this is ready. And by the way, in my family, when you when you're cooking food, you have to make sure you separate the one for elders aside mm -hmm. and the one for kids, especially for the big man. If there's a big man in the family, mm -hmm. you make sure you put that food on the sides. Mm -hmm. yes. Even if there is a visitor, even though there is a visitor, mm -hmm. you have to make sure you put their dish on the on the sides. Yeah. So this big one here is for the family. This one here, and then this one is for the visitors. Mm -hmm. yes. So Scabia is going to be putting the one for the family here, like that, look at that, mm -hmm. so this one is for the family and you sit together, you put it like that, then you sit together, I'm going to be showing you how you sit, so the sauce is, sep uh, the sauce is served separately, but you sit in a circle and just be picking, you know, ugali from here. That is how it do it's done. You're going to be seeing at the end of this video when you're eating the food. So what she's doing right here, she's trying to make sure it's in one place so that it doesn't get cold. Eh? Mm. It has to stay warm. So guys, this is how we do it. When you're taking it on the dining from the kitchen, you have to make sure you cover it so that it doesn't get cold. 
or even to prevent the flies from falling on the food. Mm. That's why we are covering it like this. So we are going to right now go and eat. So the guys, food. I'm going to be making eggs for my family. And uh, should I call it like a dessert? I don't know. <laughs> but we felt like having eggs as well. So I decided to prepare them. How so they look like that. So I'm going to be preparing eggs for my family as well. So this is our food right here. This is our ugali and then our pasted chicken right here. So I think I'll see you guys in my next video. That was it for this video. But thank you so much for watching. And for sure the food is very sweet, you know. So I think I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. We love you all. Guys, be sure to subscribe and like the video. And let me know what you think of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Bye.